the truth. So, I'm pretty sure you've heard about the news about Jeffrey Epstein. He recently committed suicide, and I use that in quotations. But before I begin the actual case, let me give you a little bit of a backstory to who this person is and why he was arrested. So, Jeffrey Epstein is a, like an entrepreneur, billionaire type of dude, right? He was arrested for doing really degenerate stuff, such as sex trafficking. So, of course, he was arrested for it, and it's open to the possibilities of other culprits involved with the sex trafficking ring. <laughs> Bill Clinton, sorry, had to cough up some culprits. <clears throat> so... Even with that all being said, of course, the recent news came out, he apparently committed suicide. Despite the fact he was watched under a 24-7 surveillance or suicide watch, constant surveillance, like constantly watched over and all of that. Just a bit of a side note, while I was making this video, I was doing a bit of further research and I found out that not only was that Jeffrey Epstein was not under suicide watch but he was taken out of the suicide watch days before his initial suicide which in this point which in this case it just raises even more questions and raises even further eyebrows so just to give just to throw that out there a sense of you know i should have included that at the beginning of the video but at least i've included this part here so uh thank you very much and enjoy the rest of the video and now, at this point, it's pretty much apparent that everyone, I don't mean just like one side over the other, no, I mean everybody believes it wasn't suicide, it was murder. And with that, I have to agree. And you know what? Doing some further research, I've discovered that it could have been done by one person. And that person is none other than this dude. He can't keep getting away! Well, okay, it wasn't that guy, but the point of it all, and to be really serious for a moment, I just find it really bizarre about this whole Jeffrey Epstein case. The fact that he was arrested for doing this uh, type of degenerate shit, and then he gets, you know, thrown in prison for it, of course, and then all of a sudden, he kills himself, just out of nowhere, just like that. Which is, again, really bizarre. Especially the timing of it all. Which, I don't know about you, but it's just the whole, it's the timing of it all that really intrigues me. Because again, he's a top person who knows a lot of people, mainly the Clintons of course, but the fact that he was this close away to naming other people involved with the type of shit he was involved with, and then he gets found dead, or he's found in a cell completely dead by killing himself, apparently. You know, I don't know about you, but it really makes you think, doesn't it? It, it gets the noggin jogging. I mean, he was this close away of naming other people who were involved with the sex trafficking ring, and then all of a sudden, like a few weeks later, he's found dead in a cell, committed, well, suicide, again, I use that in quotations. It just, I don't know about you, again, it just really comes off as very, very convenient. Because now those people who are not going to be named are going to be off scot-free. Hmm, it just, the, the timing of it all, it's just, it's too, too convenient. You know, it's, it, it's, it's almost like it was planned ever since he was arrested. But then again, that would make me a conspiracy theorist, huh? Hey there, this is Chief Moody. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like this video, then you know what to do. Hit that like button, comment down below, share this video, and if you're new to the channel, maybe hit that subscribe button and click on the bell icon for more content. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. This is Chief Moody signing out, and I will see you all next time. Take care.